you're watching MCU Hunter. Hope you enjoy. Hey guys, MCU Hunter. Today we're back and today we're reviewing the Marvel Legends uh, Speedball from the Controller Bath Wave. Uh, but you see the uh, clear window package here. Speedball on the side. Uh, him on the back with all the other figures. There's a read up right there. So if you want to focus, read it, pause it now. But here's the other side. You get no logo on the top. It says controller there. Uh, barcode down at the bottom. This video is sponsored by ToyPlanetUSA.com. Uh, they have tons of Marvel Legends and tons of other toys. But if you want to check them out, you can do so in the uh, description below. But so without further ado, let's get the figure on open. Speedball out of the packaging. Uh, I haven't got the other figures from the wave, but so far he is my favorite. Uh, yes, there's not much to him, but I just like, like, I've loved Speedball for a while. And so I'm stoked to have a figure of him newer and everything now, considering I've just like started collecting comic figures, but I've always liked Speedball. Um, but like, I'm just kind of mad about like the no open hands, nothing like that. But I mean, what are you going to do? So the only other, um, uh, build a figure piece or any other accessories he comes with is the controller chest piece, controller band chest piece. That's it. So yeah, but we've just got him uh so but i like it because you can you can't see if you block the ring light here let me just turn the ring light off just real quick just so you guys can see um but you can see his eyes through there so i like that a lot um but i guess you can still see him just there's white circles there but i like the hair swoosh so i kind of have him posed how i did in the beginning of the video and the thumbnail but yeah you just got these all little just a bunch of circular balls i guess uh all over uh his back and head and everything because i mean he's a bouncy ball guy i guess but and there's more on the gloves the hands belt gloves again and boots and ankles but yeah and then the rest of the figures just all blue uh there's black on the boots some black uh on the waist and wrist and then around the neck and that's it and then there's a peg hole in the back uh we have seen the uh, body before but for some reason to me even if it's an older body the figure's new it feels new. I've got mine's got like some yellow <clears throat> all over uh, around there. There we go. But yeah, I like this figure a lot. I mean, like I said, there's not much to him, but like it'd be cool if like, you could just get some like bouncy balls and like pose them next to or something. I think I might do that because I've got like some uh, translucent like orange and blue ones. Need a yellow one though, but orange might do. Orange might just do. But yeah, I like this figure actually a lot. Like I said, I don't know if he might be my favorite. More p probably. Just I uh, gotta see that U.S. agent though, so we'll find that out. But let's get into the articulation. Uh, for some reason, my head keeps popping off a lot. But he can look back that much or look up that much. It came off, I just, yeah, there we go. See, like it literally just keeps coming off. But it swivels. Uh, yeah, it's already coming off again. But there's a little, I mean, I guess you can do that. Um, but he's got butterfly joints. Arms move out that much. Full 360. Upper bicep swivel, double pinned elbows wrist hinge, um, it's got ab crunch, waist swivel, legs kick forward that much, back barely any at all, um, knees bend in there, it's got boot rotation, ankles move down, they do move up, and ankle pivot, but he's got pickles at the bottom of the feet, 
so yeah like i said there's not much to them there's just not so but i like them a lot so i mean it's an all opinion so if this is your least favorite figure from the wave i'm sorry but they they did a really good job on them besides <clears throat> they could have done a new body i kind of wish they would have done the uh, new spider-man renew your valves body which my video on that will be up soon so look forward to that but yeah just standing him up he is standing at uh top of the hair little under six and a half inches without falling um but yeah so i think he looks really really good um so yeah but without further ado, um, I guess this will be the end of the video. Um, I mean, I guess here I can pose him next to the blue marble figure. So there he is to that. And then just the only other figure... I mean, I've got actually two leather figures laying around, so I'll just do that, even though they do not match whatsoever. But I've got the Gamerverse Spider-Man with the ouch, retro head. Um, so there he is to that. And then we've got just uh, Miss the comic Miss Marvel from the Sandman wave. So I'm going to want to build for your wave. So there you are into that. So, yeah. But, so, this will be the end of the video. Thank you guys so, so much for watching. Um, if you did enjoy, please like, comment, subscribe. If you have not already, and hit the bell notification. Um, by leaving a like, it will show me the appreciation uh, or of my video. And I'll appreciate that a lot. So. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace. Hey guys, MC Honor. Today we're back, and today we're reviewing the Marvel Legends uh, Speedball from the Controller Bath Wave. Uh, but you see the uh, clear window package here. Speedball on the side. Uh, him on the back with all the other figures. There's a read-up right there, so if you want to... Okay, so read it, pause it now. But here's the other side. You get no logo on the top. It says controller there. Uh, barcode down at the bottom. This video is sponsored by ToyPlanetUSA.com. Uh, they have tons of Marvel Legends and tons of other toys. But if you want to check them out, you can do so in the uh, description below. But so without further ado, let's get this figure on open.